it was kind of icing on the cake. Um, this whole kind of final session, I mean, our team kind of knew going into the finals how the meet was going to end up, but it was more important to us to kind of keep our heads up high and still race hard because um, this session was the first session for next year to come. And so I'm excited for the guys um, coming in next year and the guys leading our team next year for what's in store. And so it was kind of the, per the perfect Cinderella story ending. Even if, even if we didn't get to jump in the pool at the end, I'm still very proud of every single person on that team and every per single person in that relay. I think John sums it up pretty well. Uh, you know, it was, it was something that we had talked about a little bit about kind of not giving up, I guess. Um, and, you know, it started out with these two just destroying the 200 back. And uh, it just, you know, it kind of went from there with, uh, you know, the 100 and the Max's two fly and then the, you know, the relay was just kind of, just like you said, icing on the cake, you know, it was just finishing out what was our best session in the meet. And, you know, for for us to be able to almost throw together a relay, uh, you know, Eddie Eddie didn't even tell us till like 45 or 50 minutes before the relay. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I've swam 100 free since junior year of high school like dual meet or anything so I was a little worried when Eddie came up to me after the two back and he said you're gonna be in the relay I was like um, all right let's go <laughs>